All right, good evening. Uh, Tuesday, June the 4th today. Um, so we put the water lines in the garden last night. Um, I did not film it, um, but I wanted to go over um, kind of the operation, uh, the setup that I have. Um, I'm going to hopefully do this quick. These uh, biting gnats are out again and they love me for whatever reason. So um, let's go ahead and look at the setup. So I'm gonna start up here by the house. Um, if you have watched our uh, video on our Connecticut water system that we have in our basement, um, you will know that all of our water that comes in from the city uh, goes through our uh, chloroban filter and then through our whole house filter. Um, after that, um, it splits to a line that comes outside and then and then after that um, the, uh, the line that feeds the house. So we come out of the house and I have um, a splitter that way we can run another uh, hose off of it. Um, then here I have um, a pressure regulator. Um, this is normally used on an RV um, but it I believe it keeps the pressure um, at about 50 psi um, that way we're not running too high of pressure through um, the watering system. Um, I was blowing hoses out um, before I had that. Um, from there I hook on to a long garden hose that then runs through, I've got some excess, but anyways it runs out there to the garden. Okay out here at the garden um, the water line comes in um, and then comes into this uh, half inch PVC pipe that is laying along here. Um, then it tees off. Now I'm going to remove one of these buckets. These are just a um, protection uh, for the water valves. So again I just tees off. These are sprinkler um, valves. Um, they are Orbit brand. Um, they have a three-quarter inch inlet, three-quarter inch outlet. Um, they use two wires, um, a common wire and then a control wire uh, to operate it. Um, so I've got them threaded, threaded here on, then out um, they thread in with, I've got it threaded in with an adapter that goes to um, a garden hose. Uh, from that end, then, um, on some of them I have a short garden hose. Um, others of them I have the soaker hose connected directly, but for this one, um, it runs this way with a short garden hose, and then it connects on to the soaker hose, which then runs around this trellis here. Um, then this one happens to be beans, um, but it runs along there. So basically what happens is each one of the sections of the garden is watered separately. So uh, valve number one is this set of beans. Valve number two runs the uh, Brussels sprouts. Valve number three does those beans. Four is the peppers. Five is uh, this set of peas. Six is the beets. Uh, seven is these peas along with those tomatoes that are down there. And number eight, number eight actually is uh, kind of on the back side. Um, and that soaker hose runs out and along and is taking care of the squash and goes around kind of along the outside. All right, this is the control panel for the system. Um, it is electric. I do have an extension cord that goes down around and I've got it plugged in over there by the shed. But this is a waterproof box. These are meant for outdoor um, sprint, lawn sprinkler systems. So it is uh, this one here um, is a nine station model, um, basically nine valves. Uh, it can handle. Um, I of course only have eight on it right now but um, when I originally bought it I only had 
I think, six on it originally, and then I added a couple of more. Um, I bought this uh, with nine so that I had room to grow. Um, looking back, in some ways, maybe I should have bought the 12 station version, um, but I thought I was doing good with buying the nine, having room. So, um, but this is fully programmable. You can set it for, um, you set the time, the date, you set um, how many how many times a day you want them to run, for how minute, how many minutes, when to start. Um, so this one starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and again at 8 o'clock at night. Um, and then it just, what it does is it'll turn on one zone at a time. So it'll turn on valve one. It'll water that for how many ever minutes I told it to run. Then it'll go for two, uh, station two or valve two, three, four, and so on. These little biting gnats are getting the best of me. So I hope that uh, kind of shows you what uh, we're doing um, out here uh, for our watering system. Um, we've used this for a few years now, um, and it seems to work quite well. Um, there is a rain delay option, so I mean, if it gets if it gets rain and we don't need it to run, we can hit rain delay and just basically tell it, "Hey, we don't want you to run for the next." day or two or three, um, then that way um, it just won't water. Um, or we can just turn just turn it off, um, that works too. Um, but it's nice, this will water automatically um, morning and night. We don't have to get out uh, with the um, watering cans or anything and try to remember to water, nothing like that. It just automatically waters it. Um, it's taken care of. Um, that consi The plants love that consistency of having that water all the time um, on a consistent basis. So, All right, with that, I've got a couple other things to do tonight. Um, I need to, I'm going to mix up some concrete and pour uh, some buckets full of concrete to use as weights for the um, canopy at the farmer's market. So I want to get that done because the farmer's market's coming up this weekend. Um, and I'm going to get out of these gnats. So with that, take care. We'll talk to you later.